Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic Responsibility Assignment Matrix. Uh, friend, uh, today's topic is uh, very interesting and uh, very important with respect to project management and especially this topic has been taken from BIMBOK Guide Project Management Body of Knowledge and this is a very very important topic with respect to PMP exam point of view because you will see this topic in the exam as well. At least uh, 3 to 4 questions will definitely be there in the exam. So let's uh, start friend first of all I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start responsibility assignment matrix or short form as RAM. Friend what is responsibility assignment matrix it basically whenever we are working in uh, in any organization as a project manager we have to deal with multiple or several resources. So uh, friend we have to define the uh, responsibility of every resource okay that who will be responsible for what actually. So responsibility assignment matrix define the participation of various organization peoples and their roles in completing tasks or deliverables for a project. RAM or responsibility assignment matrix is also called as responsible, accountable, consulted and informed matrix. R A C I. So that means we identify the type of the uh, person of the role and then we assign which type of responsibility he will have. Okay, so this is the concept of uh, responsibility assignment matrix. Generally, it is called as R A C I responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed matrix. Now, what actually it is, we, will sh we shall see this topic in detail. So, R A C I responsible first term is responsible. So responsible means those who do the work to achieve the task. Okay, so that means who are the person who is responsible to achieve that particular task. For example, software development. So software development means the software developer is responsible for the software development. Quality assurance. The Q Q quality assurance resource is responsible for the quality assurance. Then accountable. Accountable means the one ultimate accountable for the correct and thorough completion of the deliverable of the task uh, and the and the one to whom responsible is accountable. See friend here. Uh, the for example software developer is responsible for the software development. But he is responsible for that but he is not accountable for that. The functional manager is accountable for the software development. Okay. Then consulted. Consulted means that those who uh, those whose opinions are sought and with whom there is two-way communication. That means for, for example, you have a consultant in your organization. So you ha have to consult with them before you initiate anything. For example, for cost, uh, uh, cost estimate, you have to consult with any third party vendor, for example. Uh, so these are the person who will be called as, considered as consulted or C, informed. Informed means friend, whenever you are doing the project, you have to inform the things. For example, you are informing to your uh, to your CEO of the company that you will be deploying the project on ABC date. For example, in the next week you are deploying it. So, inform those who are kept up to date on progress, often only on completion of the task or deliverables. Here, uh, I just want to show you a very uh, good example of uh, RACI matrix. For example, project initiation, project execution, then uh, in the project uh, initiation there are tasks like for example uh, task 1 2 3 4 these are the tasks in the project executives are will be consulted the uh, pro task 2 abc task is uh, project executive will be accountable here you can see uh, like for example project manager project manager for task 2 he will be informed for task 3 he will be informed but for task 4 he will be accountable he will be answerable he will be he has to give the answer if there is anything goes wrong for business analyst task 1 he will be consulted only for task 2 he will be responsible uh, for task 3 he will be responsible for task 4 he will be informed only technical architect similarly he will be responsible for task 4 application developer will be informed only for task 4 1 2 3 4 so this is the uh, very simple example of the RACI matrix so you can make your RACI matrix as well according to this chart as well it will be helpful for you 
to identify the roles of your uh, in, in your project and you can define the responsibilities according to uh, your RSCI matrix as well. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks for watching the video. Thank you, friend.